birth of the annual global event on 5th June. The theme underscored the fact that our only galaxies, star systems, and lone planets only are sustain of life. Since human actions are causing irreversible damage to our environment, there is an urgent need to minimize or prevent further damage to our biosphere. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, and we made the sky a protective ceiling, but they, from its signs, are turning away. The Quran reminds us that Allah cares for us by creating our world with the ozone layer to protect us from the harmful ultraviolet rays that can harm us and other organisms as well. But Allah already knows that the humans will destroy the ozone layer away in their greed. The remi this reminds us that we need to protect Allah's creation in order to protect ourselves as well. At another place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَعْسَوْ فِي الْأَرْزِ مُفْسِدِينَ And don't commit abuse on the earth spreading corruption. Corruption can have many forms like theft, fraud, and political crime. But you can't further forget the corruption that has led to the environmental issues seen through the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and the mass deforestation of Amazon rainforest. The Quran always reminds us to be always wary of our actions and the impact it can have on our world. Corruption of all kinds, including environmental corruption, which includes industrial pollution, environmental garbage, and reckless exploitation, also the mismanagement of natural resources are disliked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. According to Islam, each man is the custodian of nature and must live in harmony with other creatures. It is the duty of all Muslims to respect, nurture, and care for the environment. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam gave highly the importance towards the sustainable cultivation of land, waste minimization, human treatment of animals, preservation of natural resources, and protection of wildlife. Some of the sayings of Prophet Muhammad wasallam are, if a Muslim sows a seed or plants a tree, and then a bird or an animal or a person eats from it, that it is regarded as a charitable gift in Bukhari. And whoever plants a tree and diligently looks over it, it is regarded in Musnad. The environment is the silent victim of wars. Wars can make landscapes so dangerous or inhospitable to the humans or create so many barriers to the exploitation of natural resources that ecosystems have a rare opportunity to recover. We see what's happening in Ukraine, and we are shocked and horrified for the human cost first and foremost, but also what is happening to the environment there. Oil and gas facilities in Kharkiv have came under heavy fire since the war began. Disrupting Ukraine's energy supply and releasing enormous amounts of greenhouse gases and other contaminants into the atmosphere that make it difficult to breathe. Each day brings new reports of the Russian military destroying Ukraine's environment with thermobaric bombs with, uh, and with other powerful weapons. Some cities like Mariupol have been so heavily bombarded that they are now unlivable due to the both, a lack of inf infrastructure and extreme toxicity in the environment. In some cases, environmental destruction is an explosive military tactic. During the Vietnam War, the U.S. military spray defoliants or wide swaths of jungle to clean or forest fields and temporary enemy forces of power. And armed forces often exploit low-able resources. The global destruction caused by COVID-19 has brought or uh, about several effects on the environment and climate increased use of face masks, hand gloves, their haphazard disposal, and the generation of huge amount of hospital waste has a negative impact on the environment. Each of us has our duty to protect the Mother Earth by making simple modifications in lifestyle and taking simple actions, such as you can buy uh, local and seasonal produce, uh, putting a lid on vessels when cooking, turning off all electrical appliances, and instead of putting them on standby when not in use, and uh, use car tools when are possible and avoid, pla avoid plastic bags. On this environment, Jay, let us learn to live sustainably in harmony with nature and adopt a few simple practices, that is, following reuse, reduce, and recycle practices, segregate of waste and composting, energy saving and moving to all native sources, example, solar energy, to use sustainable products or eco-friendly products, uh, having cradle to a grave approach, planting trees and supporting and promoting biodiversity. Living sustainably in harmony with nature also requires active participation and engagement of various stakeholders, including governments, NGOs, uh, community, and industry. This was even realized by our ancestors as highlighted in Atharva Veda, that, mother, that Earth is my mother and I am her son. This also means that humans and the environment share a holy bond, setting vital precedents for how we should live in harmony with all living and non-living components to save only the planet where life existence that is our Earth. If you're always focused on let the entire world be happy, this emphasizes that we all need to come together on this world environment day to protect and restore our Earth. I think the time is draining out. I should conclude at this point and thank you. Thank you for the cooperation.
Thank you very much. It was literally an outstanding speech and then a great art of expression.